So when I was being interviewed for the role, um, I asked the managing director, how are we deepening community impact? And his answer to me was that, well, we give money to charity. And I said, okay, but that's just giving money to charity. How are you actually deepening the value of, the, you know, of that money to society? And he, he couldn't answer my question. So I think from the beginning of the conversation that I was having with him, it really became apparent that equity were great at the administration and the governance side of their role, but what they hadn't allowed themselves was the time and effort and resource to actually go that next step and actually understand what is the influence and impact that we're having as funders on the sector and how, how can we measure that impact? Within the first 12 months of the project, we have it, it's had a profound influence on the way that we make our granting decisions. So first and foremost, it made us really understand what our role was and what our, the influence that we, we have was and responsibility. It also then has informed the way that we look at and assess our grant making. So it's made us really think differently about impact-led decisions and, and even right down to the way that we collect data from our from beneficiaries, is, is, it's changing the way that we think about funding. Traditionally, philanthropists tend to follow their own personal passions and what we noticed was everybody was really taking a scattergun approach and they were being driven by what they thought as individuals was important. And so because we have the, the unique privilege of sitting across so many different trusts and foundations, we were able to actually start the conversation around not what is your favourite charity, but what is the social outcome that you are striving to achieve? You know, what do you feel passionately about? But how can you as an individual philanthropist contribute to a wider collective effort in solving that problem?